Okay, so I built a sweet project, in this case, a NeoPixel project, and I wanna keep it running even though I don't have a lot of Arduinos lying around. I can buy a rail of 80 tinies. These adorable little chips are usually eight pins and they come in a variety of different models with different levels of power and memory and things like that. Best of all, you can program them with the Arduino IDE. So what I'm not gonna show you right now is the huge pain method, which requires a bunch of jumper wires and a capacitor and like another Arduino to program it and stuff like that. And then even when you're done with that, then you have to have a breadboard like this with all these wires going and it's great. But very small. Believe it or not, these can actually run NeoPixels. You just have to set them to eight megahertz so that they're fast enough to run the program. Mm. For a very slightly larger package size and a very slightly larger price, what you can do is get a DigiSpark. These little guys plug directly into your USB port and you can program them without the use of another Arduino or a bunch of jumper wires. Way easier to continue prototyping even after you've set your circuit together. With some female headers soldered onto this DigiSpark, I'm making the same thing happen. Let me make sure my pins are right. All in one pretty little package. You can use a diffuser like a piece of paper or use a reflection technique where you point it backwards. To program the DigiSpark, it's a little bit different. You'll need to add it in the boards manager and there's directions for that on the DigiStump website. The slightly weird thing about this is that you're gonna hit upload first and then it'll tell you when to plug in your DigiSpark. Let's go, little guy. It's speedy too. Make my little connections. Plug in. And there we go. Note that I had to change the pin number though. Check out the documentation for which ones are gonna work for you. This isn't just good for NeoPixels, obviously. It'll work for pretty much any Arduino project that you've got, unless it's something super hyper-specialized. It's a great way to cut down on the cost of your projects and keep learning without having to tear apart old stuff. 